Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Taurus friends and friends of Taurus. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So, Taurus, um, first of all, thank you guys for your patience as I've gotten these um, signs back on track here, trying to get them back on track. That Galactic Royalty reading really blew up, and um, no complaints on my end, but um, I've just had a lot of personal readings I've been catching up with. So, thank you guys for your patience, as always. Looking at your energy here in meditation, I did pull a couple of oracle cards and then we'll move into the tarot. A few things came through. So first of all, um, <clears throat> it was kind of an interesting message. First, they gave me original <laughs> original juice. And, uh, and then I was told to kind of strike that from the message. So coming circling back on it um, after going through the, the oracle cards here too, I think I understand why. So I'll keep moving forward and we'll touch base on it. Uh, next, I was given Drama Llama. <laughs> uh, sounds like somebody may be dealing with some drama. Um, you, you may be uh, participating in it or contributing it to it from your end. Somebody is kind of trying to wrap you up in it. Could be different for uh, different situations. So next, I was shown this kind of hand sign here, um, like taking a picture um trying to to capture a moment in time and take a picture is what was uh, what was shared so i kind of it leads me to like take a picture to last longer um i do feel like something something's going on I, drama wise like um i i don't know we'll get into this i kind of feel like the message is more for you taurus as far as a reminder um to to kind of shift the way that maybe your your contributing to your own life right now or to a situation like i said for some of you this could be somebody outside towards you too um, but it's kind of coming more from the end of recommendations um as if you you may be the drama llama okay <laughs> and no judgment no <laughs> you know no tino shade we uh we're all drama llamas from time to time and that's okay it's a part of being human this isn't a judgment um next i was shown a foot with like suction cups on the bottom of it, like octopus tentacle suction cups. Uh, it does remind me of the quality of Taurus being kind of stubborn um, once you decide to stop moving <laughs> um, or to remain stationary. There's not much that's going to move you except for your own desire to move. So I kind of get that message. Mostly I get um, a need to ground, like a need to be steady, a need to connect with the earth. This could be literal grounding. Um, but like grounding your experience to kind of become a bit more centered. Okay, so um, let's move into the Oracle cards. This is the Wild Unknown archetype deck that I was led to use. So you guys got the Venom here and then also the Prayer. So I'll hold these up as I talk about them too. I heard your request. You want to see the cards a little bit, a little bit more. So with... Um, with the Venom here, the book talks about, this is anything that's really like toxic, um, but the qualities that were standing out to me surrounding this in the message are a need to pay attention to the fact that there is poison here. And if it's left untreated or unattended to, it will continue to toxify a system. And in regards to the message that's coming through here, um, as far as a drama llama, <laughs> a drama llama, um, I feel like the drama, whatever this is, um, and again, you guys, this isn't a judgment. Um, I would say if I'm just feeling encouraged to like soothe over that, if it's triggering your ego, um, a lot of the times it's a good sign that, uh, something is meant for us. <laughs> um, so don't let it, don't be upset. Okay. If this is, this is just direction to help, to help, um, get back to a healthier state. Okay. Be a happier, happier llama. All right. Or both. <laughs> but yes, with the venom here, it's um, there's a need to tend to the fact that there is venom here, okay? And I get more like words, the word component. So you may be contributing to drama at work or in your family, um, talking about people when they're not around in ways that are not conducive to whatever is going on. Um, currently for you, there could, like I said, be situations where people are talking about you um as well what i'm getting is kind of a similar message either way though is is kind of like um ground yourself and mind your own business <laughs> okay <laughs> so prayer comes through here next 
So prayer in the book, this talks, the qualities that really stood out to me with the prayer um, was, well, it's make, making yourself humble was something that came through on this. But um, in order to connect with the teacher within, so I'm getting that this is a moment for you where there is something to learn here um, to help grow yourself, to help grow your experience as far as like who you do connect with. Maybe you're part of a friend group that, I don't know, enjoys talking shit. And if that's your thing, like you, you do you boo boo, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, not saying you have to change anything, but this is the message that's coming through. Um, I do feel, I do feel called to pull an urban crow oracle as well. Can we get a, additional messages here for Taurus? Trickery. <laughs> yeah, okay, right on, right on point. Trickery. Um, so for some of you, I do feel that uh, there is a caution to pay attention to those around you that maybe have a track record <laughs> of being a drama llama. Um, if you're noticing that there's behavior that's changing, or if this is you to someone else, if you're changing your behavior more into like a tricker, trickery, trickster kind of energy, um, number one, paying attention if this is coming outside of yourself. Number two, if it's coming inside to pay attention, but, um, to just think, think twice. Okay. <laughs> think about adjusting this. I don't see any good coming from trickery. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into your main message with the tarot. We'll go with the Light Seer's tarot here today for your first deck. Spirit, what do we have here for Taurus? And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support, as always. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a link in the description of the video. You can click the join button next to the subscribe uh, button as well. Um, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I do have private readings open and available right now. If you are interested in taking a look at that, there's a link to my website in the description of the video also. Okay, so Page of Cups here at the bottom. This is your hopes hopes and dreams. So with Page of Cups, um, there is, a, I get the quality of emotional overwhelm that can come with the Page of Cups. So Page of Cups, it can be like an offer of love. Some of you may be looking for love. You may be, um, interesting. I do feel for very few of you, there's a fear, like there's a fear towards um, new love as far as like trickery. Listen to your gut on things, okay? Um, maybe you're getting involved with the drama llama. <clears throat> uh, but mostly, like I said, it's this ov emotional overwhelm. So I'm getting this feeling of... Um, a hope to like to be able to handle that a little bit better or for that to go away. Maybe you're feeling anxiety right now. Maybe you are caught up in somebody else's drama. And if that's the case, um, get out of there. <laughs> you're Geronimo, get out of there. <laughs> Jump out of the plane there. Okay, which deck here? Second deck here for you guys. For Taurus, this is the Untamed Tarot. So Spirit, what do we have here for Taurus? Additional messages. And this is a general message, you guys. Um, strength here at the split stands out to me. This is your like fear pile that we're starting with. Your second pile. Um, I I kind of get that there is um, like what I think about is like an addiction to a dopamine addiction, addiction to electronics. This is something that, uh, gosh, I, I mean I have to deal with myself too. I I, I understand, but it's like this. Um, you're, you're wanting the strength maybe even to step away from something that may be dramatic. It's almost like, um, could even be trash TV, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe you're keeping up with the Kardashians, I don't know. Um, there's just something about stepping away from drama, especially if there is an addictive component to it. You're better off is what I hear, okay. Okay, so what do we have here for Taurus? This is a general message, please keep that in mind. Use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you, and feel free to leave behind those messages that are not for you. Check out your rising moon Venus, any other major placements in your chart for a more complete picture of your story, okay? So Knight of Swords comes through here for your uh, fear, fear aversion. Knight of Swords is putting thought into action. Whoop. <laughs> Four of Cups here too. That fell down just to... To show that too, I feel like there may be a missed opportunity here if you don't if you don't pay attention to 
this message or make changes, like I said, either side, if you're the drama llama, if you're involved with the drama llama, um, there's just encouragement to make a shift, all right? Uh, but with the Knight of Swords being in your fear, I feel like there's a concern over making a change. Maybe you're getting the thought here that something's not quite right, or you're feeling um, in your gut, like I said, that there's some trickery afoot. You're, maybe you're feeling the venom that is present, okay? Do you feel like there's a way out of this? <clears throat> it's probably easier than easier said than done, right? But uh, there's a way out. So Ten of Pentacles comes through here first in your general. This does, um, this does bring me to community, okay? This is ultimate material and spiritual abundance, building and leaving a legacy. I feel like connecting to the community here, there may just be some restlessness in your friend group or in your, in your family. Um, could be your work family too. Uh, and people are just getting chatty. <laughs> Their words being being flown around. It doesn't have to be extreme either. I feel like there's just a caution to, to separate yourself from those dramatic moments, okay? If, if you do notice you find yourself in a conversation where people are talking about somebody else, um, don't contribute, you know what I mean? I'm not saying, I'm not getting the feeling that you need to be like a, a game changer for people to change their ways, but this is a request to just look at Look at what it is that you're giving your attention and what it is that you are directing your energy towards because drama certainly is not, um, there's nothing that you are getting back <laughs> that's positive in your life. And it's just throwing things in the garbage. It's just throwing your energy in the garbage essentially, okay? And it can hurt people too. So Nine of Pentacles comes through here next. Nine and ten of pentacles. Look at you guys. <laughs> um, so nine of pentacles is your abundance and success as an individual. It is bringing in a bountiful harvest for yourself, feeling safe and secure um, to do whatever it is really that you want to do. Growing pentacle bushes out back. It can refer to home and gardens too. So there could be a little bit of, um, you know, drama on the home front. And when I'm saying drama, it's just an all-encompassing word here for anything that is like um stirring the pot okay being a shit stir <laughs> um if you're noticing that there are situations let's say at home here or in a friend, friend group family whatever where um things are getting stirred up i feel like the encouragement here is to figure out why there's boredom <laughs> And uh, what else you can do about that instead of um, talk shit, okay? If this is somebody outside of you, like I said, it's a little bit easier, I feel like, to just create some space. You know what I mean? You don't even have to say something. You don't have to cut off a relationship. Maybe you're at that point with somebody where that is the healthy thing to do. But that's not the primary message that I'm getting coming through on that. So let's move through your good stuff that's coming through here right now. Two of Cups, cool. <laughs> So um, I feel like this is an opportunity. If this is like a relationship, Two of Cups is a connection. Could be friendship, could be romantic relationship, could be a business partnership here too. I feel like um, as long as you are stepping away from drama, being a drama llama, <laughs> keeping yourself grounded with those suction cup feet, there is an opportunity either for love, for business, new friendship here, there is a really strong connection that's coming through as available to you. Um, but being, um, if you are in that energy, I feel like this is kind of getting pushed away. You'll miss the boat on this one, okay? Um, if you're in a relationship already and you're noticing maybe some things are happening in that way, um, I feel like the encouragement is like, take care of that toxin, right? Become humble, have a conversation with you, yourself and your partner or partners, okay? Um, bringing, bringing that into a more stable experience brings this into a more stable experience. You're able to connect a bit better with the divine and the abundance that comes with that um, in connection with another that is connected to the divine, especially. Um, yeah, I feel like that's not something that you guys want to miss, okay? Queen of Wands here too, and your good stuff comes through. So Queen of Wands, um, I take is like confidence, it's um, authenticity as well. I feel like whatever is going on drama wise, um, this is an opportunity to really like 
Um, is it stake your claim? I'm hearing stake your claim. Like, like you would claim an area of a territory or land or something. Climb a mountain and, and stick a flag up there. This is an opportunity to um, really impress upon other people what you're made of. Your integrity. Okay. Um, and in doing so, there's something, there's something about your image, your public image, even maybe you are more of a public figure. Um, but people seeing you in a very warm and trusting light. Okay. I just feel like there's an opportunity to like set the record straight on who you are. Okay. Choose wisely. Think twice and choose wisely is what comes through. Okay, so what you don't see coming, what's in the dark here in this situation? You have six of pentacles. <laughs> I just heard uh, karma. <laughs> what you give is what you get, uh, which totally makes sense with this message. What you don't see coming here is there is a cause and effect to things, right? Um, if this is you participating, I, like I said, pretty easy. Stop doing it, right? Just don't participate. Just don't participate. Um, if you feel it's a situation that's necessary to say something to someone like, I don't like that, or I don't participate in that way, that's fine. But mostly I get just step aside, just step away from it. Um, for those of you that this is coming from the outside, somebody maybe trying to bring shit to your door, don't engage. I'm just kidding. Don't engage. Okay. If you pick up, if you pick up that stick <laughs> or whatever weapon is being used there, I don't, you're going to have a bad time. Okay, Taurus, I feel like this is an opportunity to just like weed out the energies that are um, bleeding energy from you. Because that's really, I mean, that's all drama. Drama just causes pain, <laughs> just takes energy away from you and doesn't go to anything that's useful. So <laughs> Wheel of Fortune comes through here next. Yes, you guys, karma. <laughs> I just said that. Um, be careful. Okay. That's, that's all that's coming through here with this. The wheel turns. All right. Um, we do have uh, cause and effect, right? With the wheel. It is lessons in karma too. Okay. <laughs> so um, just be in alignment with your own integrity and authenticity. Like I said, if your authenticity is to be a drama llama, get it. Stand in your integrity, right? Um, at least you know who you are. I just, I just very much get that, like, uh, there's enough pain in the world, right? We just don't need that, too, okay? Wouldn't it be nice if we were all a bit more kind to each other? I think so. <laughs> I think so. So, um, your obstacle at this time in this situation. You have ten of swords. Okay. Mm. That makes a little bit more sense. So um, I do, and like I said in the beginning of the message, I do kind of lean into this maybe you more Taurus or cross watchers that are watching as well um, that are are the drama llama. Again, no judgment, just for lack of a better, better title, that's what came through. Ten of Swords, this is pain, this is betrayal, okay? Rock bottom. The thing with the Ten of Swords, especially being in the obstacle here, is... Um, this pain can get addictive and this pain that is addictive. I said that earlier in the message too. I feel like that pain, if you're stuck in a moment, um, let's say like from a, a breakup, an ex, um, maybe getting fired from a job, um, even, you know, like maybe you didn't deserve it. Maybe, maybe the job treated you poorly, um, poor behavior from somebody else betrayal. This is not like, this is painful. That's real with the Ten of Swords. Whatever did happen, um, that was painful. The thing here, though, is as humans, we can get addicted to that pain because it serves us in some way, either through um, sharing with other people. This is what happened to me, like getting pity or getting, you know, from others, getting pity from yourself. Um, the encouragement here is to step away from this. Okay. And this is kind of where I feel like the drama may be boiling up. There's pain. There's pain here. There's venom. <laughs> so it's really important to take care of the venom and, um, talking shit about somebody is not how we do that. It's just, it doesn't, it's not going to get rid of the venom. If anything, it allows it to take hold even more. 
it brings you deeper into that addiction that the Ten of Swords can provide. It feels, it feels tricky, you guys. <laughs> Super tricky. It's tricky to rock a rhyme that's right on time. I get it, you guys. I've, I've, I've been here. <laughs> I've been here. <laughs> the Hermit comes through, too. So the Hermit is about um, solitude, isolation. It is about exploring the internal realm here and finding the truth, finding the answer. If this is you in this situation with the Ten of Swords, where something has, maybe you were done dirty, you were betrayed, there was a loss, a very painful loss, rock bottom. Um, there is an encouragement here to be honest with yourself. And that comes through with the prayer too. Uh, being humble, okay? Kind of... Um, not full on like prostrating yourself, but um, but bowing like bowing to the experience. What I get from this, whatever it was that happened that caused this pain, um, you're being asked to trust that it's important for you to step away from it. The healing comes by letting it go. Not that that makes everything go away or makes it okay. But if you are one of these people that's choosing to sit in that experience, it's not doing you any good. And what I'm getting is it's actually starting to bleed outside of you and it's starting to harm others, which is um, which is a, a concept that's mentioned in the Venom card here too in the book. Hurt people hurt others, right? And this, could, this can be reversed. Like I said, it could be somebody else in your life that this is going on, but... I get more so that this is um, this is just an alert to to pay attention to take a an, an internal stock count here. Okay, am I projecting pain? Am I hurt inadvertently even? Am I inadvertently hurting other people because I'm hurting too? You know what I mean? Again, this isn't an accusation. This is an opportunity to become curious about why we may be doing something. Okay, and if this message isn't for you, then it isn't for you, right? <laughs> So um, spending less time and interesting, yeah, with, with electronic connection too. Spending less time connecting maybe through electronics or um, distracting yourself through those sorts of things and more time turning inward through meditation, mindfulness, just so that you are aware of what is going on if you are participating in this, okay? So let's do three main pieces of advice, please. Spirit for Taurus. What else do they need to know here in this situation? Dedication. Stay dedicated to your goals, efforts that will reap success. So what I get from this is like, don't let that venom, whatever this situation is that happened where the venom was produced, don't let that throw you off your game. Don't let the drama take you down, okay? Past life connection, someone with heavy influence from a past life is with you. So for some of you, I do feel, uh, and divine counterpart too, okay. A divine connection sent to you from your angels. Um, having two of cups here in your good stuff, I do feel like love could be coming in for some of you, okay? Especially with divine counterpart. But having past life connection here too, what it makes me think of is... Um, the relationship component. Maybe there was a breakup in the past. Um, your ex, maybe your ex is talking shit about you. Maybe you feel inclined to do the same. Um, I feel like this is just really pointing that out for those of you that that situation applies to. Just let it go, okay? Especially having the Wheel of Fortune come through on that. I just don't feel like this is something that you want that's not the game that you want to play, okay? It's not a hill that anybody is is going to make it out of alive. <laughs> and you deserve to, to survive this, okay? So um, let's do an animal spirit oracle message here. This is the wild unknown. Animals. Animals. Dragon. Ooh. Dragon and crocodile. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Both of those eyes there, I get that um, <laughs> venom coming from the eyes. But uh, for some of you that are, you know, that relationship component was hitting home, I get this concept, just seeing the eyes in general, um, of like 
watching somebody else, okay? Maybe some spying behavior and encouragement to maybe not do that. There are better things that you can be doing with your time, okay? So with the crocodile, the crocodile is about waiting. <laughs> it's about waiting for the right moment. The crocodile can be extremely patient, waiting for that right time to strike. Um, and in this message, I don't take that as like striking back on somebody, okay? I think it's been pretty clear we're stepping away from drama. This is um, also drawing me back to the hermit here with the encouragement. This is your obstacle here. There's an encouragement to still. Be still, my child. <laughs> like with the suction cup um, feet situation, you're being requested to ground right now. I do want to read the dragon here in the book. I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling called to. I opened right to it. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. <laughs> Seeing one's most true self and balancing the ego. Yes, yep, yep, yep. That's in both the, the prayer and, and venom. The dragon sees everything. Its essence has been with us since before our first breath and will be there until our last. It watches us navigate the external world as well as our inner world. <laughs> right on point. When dragon energy is awakened, we are courageous, visionary, and can easily drop into witness consciousness. It is almost as if we are traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. When we look in the mirror, deep into our eyes, we may even glimpse the self behind the self, the one who is watching us. This is the power of the dragon, breathing transformative fire into every cell of our bodies. Witnessing this omnipotent energy, even for a brief moment, helps us surrender and let go. We let the dragon guide us. We hop on its back for a ride, and as we traverse even the most difficult terrain, the dragon's eyes see beauty everywhere. It is said that if a yogi does not see beauty in the world, their ajni is dim. Ajni is described as inner fire or sacred intelligence. May even, may even just the mention of the dragon stir the embers of intelligence within you. Um, so the dragon is also connected to the solar plexus chakra. So this is your confidence, queen of wands here, your identity, your self-identity. Um, I'm getting that when they were, out, were saying that about your inner fire being dim, your Ajni being dim, it brought me back to what I was saying about being bored. Like if you're bored, <laughs> it's time to start finding things to not distract you, but to start like, uh, moving the previous brain programming from whatever this 10 of swords is talking about to a place where there is more peace. Okay. I know you guys can do this and I love you. I am going to move into an extended reading here. If you'd like to join me, there are links in the description of the video. I will see you there. If this is where we part, thank you guys so much for joining me here. Again, I do have private readings available if you want to check that out. Donations are always accepted. I have links in the description as well. Thank you so much, you guys who have supported the channel in this, in this way that it does go a long way. And I truly, truly appreciate it. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all great ways to support me in the growth of this channel. And I couldn't do it without you guys. I truly, truly appreciate it. So y'all, I love you. Take care of yourself, Taurus, and I'll see you all soon. Okay. Be well.